How's it going, everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and I finally have my Chinese booster boxes, or, well, my Chinese boosters. So this set, both of these are actually called Nine Colors Gathering, and then this is a specific subset. This one is called Friends, which is basically light evolving Skies or EV heroes. And then this subset in particular is called Origin, which is essentially like Fusion Strike or Fusion Arts. And I did make a mistake, so this is what these booster boxes look like that I've that I've ordered. Unfortunately, I only found out after the fact that these are so-called blister booster boxes. So these boosters actually come in these blisters right here. Um, I think there are way more in this one, in these booster boxes in here than I had anticipated. So I'll just open about half of these. And then the other half I might open in another video, if there are any crazy pulls. Um, this is just the first half for now. Okay, let's get to opening these. I did actually um, put up the video as a versus video, so whichever side has the best pulls is gonna win. Um, I, it might be difficult with the prices, because prices on Chinese cards are always a bit more difficult to find out. Um, I'll try my best though, I'll try my best. We've got a holographic, that is not promised in these. But we're not going to count that towards the polls. Hopefully we have at least one. Um, the one thing where I did go wrong with these is obviously the, um, the whatchamacallit, these ones don't have a promised super rare. So there are two types of booster boxes for these sets specifically. Very nice. Very, very nice. We've got a Rayquaza V. That is not a garbo pull. That is really, really cool actually. So these come in two types. The first one I've just showed you is a so-called um, Slim Pack booster box. Slim because, well, look at this. Actually, I'm going to keep opening them like this so we don't get spoiled by anything. There we go. And they only have five cards each in each booster pack. And I think there is like um, 24 or, four or 30. Uh, here we go. Leaf Yon V. We've got pulls on both sides, so this is getting exciting, very nice. Uh, but these do not- oh, whoops. But yeah, so these do not have promised SR spots, whereas the so-called fat booster boxes hold that because, well, they contain fat booster boxes, or booster packs, sorry. Um, if you've watched my opening of the first anniversary gift box, then you might know what I'm referring to. Um, they are- whoa, okay, that's a textured card. Not too shabby, a Treviant VMAX. Nice. So, um, if you've op as I said, if you watched my opening for the first anniversary gift box, um, that gift box contained so-called fat packs. Fat packs are essentially booster packs that have 25 cards in each booster pack. And you get like a bunch of commons, and then at the end you get one holographic or better, maybe. Um, but those ones, those booster boxes only have six booster packs in total, so I thought that was going to be way too little for an opening. So I grabbed these thinking these would be just like a normal Japanese booster box. But alas, they are not, so no promised super rare. If we do pull a super rare, it's going to be, it's going to be really, really interesting. But let's see if we can pull a super rare. We do have some chances here, although I wouldn't hold my breath on that. But yo, okay, that's a texture, that's a triple rare, that's a Flareon VMAX. And something I have noticed about these Chinese cards since, well, the print quality is the same as Japanese. It's the exact same print process. In fact, Chinese cards are actually printed in Japan, believe it or not. As compared to Korean cards, like Korean cards are actually printed in Korea, I'm pretty sure. So their print quality isn't as good as these ones. Which I think Chinese cards are going to become kind of popular in the near future. That's just what I think. We'll see if I'm correct or not. Let's see. But yeah, these are super, super nice. And also these all, all these different illustrations. I mean, most of them we've probably already seen plenty of in Evolving Skies and then Fusion Strike, two sets that are very, very notorious for having horrible pull rates. Um, at least I can't speak for Evolving Skies, because every single time I've opened Evolving Skies, well, most of the times I've opened Evolving Skies, 
I've always pulled something really, really good. So starting out, I actually open... Okay. We have a super rare, and I think it's a trainer. I think I saw that. I think it's a trainer. Okay. Let me just pull this one. So we have a an item card. And let's just get close up and see what kind of trainer we have here. Yo, we've got a laser! Nice! I've actually got the Japanese version of this one hanging up on my wall in front of me in a CGC 10. Um, I do have the Chinese version now. Yo, that is super nice. And the, the texture is exactly the same. This is actually perfect to illustrate the texture. I might do a video on that and compare like the Japanese version that I do have. Yo, that is super nice and I'm so unprepared. I do not have sleeves. Hang on. Okay, we must sleeve up the Elisa right here. Very, very nice. Fusion Strike or Fusion Arts or Nine Colors Gathering Origin coming through. Um, so far, I'm pretty sure this side is winning. So, well, let's keep on going. Maybe we can pull a, a super rare on this side. I really do hope I put it on the right side. I'm pretty sure I did. Because this has Fusion Strike, and I think you can only pull it from this. If not, I'll point it out in editing. Editing me is going to have a field day with present me. Going to call me all, all kinds of interesting things and names. Probably. That is super cool. Yo, I'm already happy with this opening. We got one super rare, even though they are not promised in these. I'm really happy. Really, really happy. I would have loved, obviously, I would have loved to, to pull the Mu VMAX. Because I would have loved to see how different that texture is with the um, with the Japanese texturing. Of course, we've got a lichen rock, not too shabby. I think it was this side as well. Again, I'm getting mixed up. That that pull completely blew me out of the water. So if I do put some pulls in the wrong spot, I I will point it out in editing. Um, we've just opened the EV hero side or the friends side. Got an Eevee, maybe we can pull that Rayquaza. That'd be nice. Nope, just a Grim Snarl holographic. Even though those are not promised, we're not gonna put it on the pile because it won't make much of a difference, eh? Alright, let's see what we have in this one. Just a holographic Galarian Zapdos. Nice voice crack, by the way. Hope you didn't hear that one. Uh, hope you didn't hear that one. Anywho's, anywho's. Come on! Come on this side. Give us a super rare. If I if I walk out of this opening with two super rares, that would be amazing. Nope, just I saw I saw the I saw the border and I thought, well, there it is. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. But as I've said, this is actually this is especially a really cool super rare in my opinion. I do love a Lisa. And even though I already have that card in Japanese, I mean, that is still a really cool addition to the collection, no doubt about that one. No doubt about that. Okay, rip this one open. And actually, we're gonna keep doing a card trick for these last few, maybe. We've got a... Archibuck or something like that? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Got a Pinsir. Nope, just a Reverse Vulpix. Very cool looking Reverse. But just a Reverse nonetheless. Okay, so we have four packs on this side, five pack packs on this side. Let's see if this site can come back from that imminent defeat with the Elaser, because I don't even have to calculate it. That Elaser is going to be worth more than a Flareon, and ages keep on coming, those pulls, with the Gyarados V. Not too bad, and they've got Dancer there at the back. Gyarados, let's put that right under the Lycanroc, which I still hope is on the right side. Still hope is on the right side. Okay, I was gonna do the car trick, but yeah, oh well. Oh well, we'll just keep opening them. Hey, leaf wait! I've pulled two Leafions. Well, I get <laughs> it isn't a normal booster box, it is a blister booster box. So I think you are bound to get repeats. Can I get a repeat of this one? I wonder if you could get a repeat of like the same super rare. I mean they're not promised. Could you technically pull like two super rares out of one of these? That'd be something. We've got a Snom. Very cute looking. 
It's got just a reverse, I think. Yep, that's just a reverse in that one. Pretty cool looking reverse Smeargle, though. And let's see, we're getting to the end here, and I'm looking at the recording, it's like at 11 minutes. The end product is, might be a bit shorter in, in total um, at this point in time. So I'm really happy with the lengths. I've, I've been trying to keep my videos shorter from now on. So I'm, I'm hoping I can keep doing that. Other than the, um, the cheap card videos, because those are long for a reason. Because I want to give you as many cards as I can that you should buy. Because they're currently really, really cheap. We've got a... Um, how did I forget the name of this cat? I love this cat. We've got a Skitty. I, I can't believe I forgot the name of that Pokemon for a second. That's like one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3. Skitty is super cute. How could I forget the name of that one? Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay. We only have two more chances for this site to pull something great. Just a double rare. But that is another evolution. So I'll add it to the pile. Add it to the pile. I don't think we're going to get anything out of this. We've already gotten something really, really good. So let me just open it like this. Turn it around. And nope. Don't think there's anything in here. Just a reverse. Just a reverse. Okay. Since we're all waiting for this pack to maybe pull something, I'm gonna I'm gonna open this last one from this side. And then I think I'm gonna do the card trick for that one. So let's see what we can find here. Maybe I see something shiny. I see something shiny. Let me just pull out the last card. There we go. And I see something shiny. And let's see what it is. It is a Chandelure VMAX. Even a textured VMAX card. Whoa. Even these normal VMAX cards look insane. Maybe it's just because I haven't seen one of these. Especially in, in Japanese quality. But man, these look super cool. Alright. One last pack. Can we get a super rare on this side? Or are we just gonna end with one super rare? Well, we're just gonna find out and see, right? So I'm gonna put this one right here. And then we're gonna flip it around and see if we can't have a super rare. Let's see. No reverse, that's usually a good sign. Let's see. Nope, just a holographic. It is a Swampert, though. Gen 3 Pokemon representing up in here. But just a Swampert nonetheless. Well, I guess it's... I think it's pretty concise of which side wins. We do have this super rare on the Fusion Strike side. Actually, something that I've completely forgot to point out. For those of you who, who are not familiar with, with Chinese cards, since this is a simplified Chinese cards, you do have that Pokemon stamp down there. I can't really get, get much closer than this. You can see that Pokemon stamp down there. And you can also see right here in this box, you should be able maybe to make out the Pokeball. Yeah, right there. And I think if I flip it the right way, it should make the word Pokemon. You can make that out right there. So those are two measures to make sure the card isn't fake. But other than that, I mean, the texture is already a dead giveaway that the card is real, as well as, as the freaking shine of this. Look at this one, shine bright like a diamond up in this. Well, but I guess that does it for this video. Okay, so I've kind of forgotten that this was supposed to be a contest, so I completely forgot to point out the prices of each site. Um, as I've stated earlier in the video, though, finding prices for these cards is actually really difficult. I couldn't even find a price on the Alesa. And I think I'm just going to lean towards the Japanese price, which is currently around 20 euros. So I'd say that Elisa is around 15. And there is no way those cards on the left are even going to be worth a fraction of that. So it's pretty, pretty decisive win for the right side right here with the Elisa. But there you go, completely forgot to mention that in a video, sorry about that. If you enjoyed this video, then a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't enjoy them, by all means, give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for the next videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.